Welcome to our lecture online. So what do we do when we see something like this? 3x squared minus 16x plus 5 divided by 3x minus 1 instead of like x minus 1 or x minus 3. Can we still use synthetic division for that? Then the answer is yes. But we need to be a little bit careful. First of all, we do want an x in the front, not a 3x in the denominator. So what we can do is we can divide the denominator by 3. So notice what happens. So I'm going to take that and write this as 3x squared minus 16x plus 5 divided by, take the denominator divided by 3, I will get x minus 1 over 3. Now notice that I divided the denominator by 3, which means my answer is now going to be 3 times as big. For example, if I have 81 divided by 9, I get 9. But if I divide 81 divided by 9 divided by 3, essentially I'm taking 81, dividing it by 3, I get 27. My answer is going to be 3 times as big because I divided the denominator by 3. So essentially, I need to divide the numerator by 3 as well. Or, I could take the answer and divide it by 3. In other words, if I take 81 divided by 9, which is what I have over here, and I imagine that I divide the denominator by 3, which means I divide the numerator by 3, I end up with 27 divided by 3, which gives me 9 again. In other words, if I divide the denominator by 3, I'll get an answer that's 3 times as big, and then I simply take the answer, divide by 3, and I get the right answer. And so that's how we can do that. So let's go ahead and finish the problem. Remember, I'm going to get an answer that's three times bigger than it should be because I divided the denominator by three to get this. So I write down the coefficients. So I get three minus 16 and five. The number here is going to be positive one third. And I draw the line here. And now I simply work it out like I always do. I bring down the first number. One third times three, that's one. Add them together, I get negative 15. 1 third times negative 15 is a negative 5. Add it together, I get 0. There we go, we have 0 remainder. And when I interpret this, remember this is x to the first power, x to the 0 power, I end up with 3x minus 15. But remember, since I divided the denominator by 3, my answer is 3 times too big. So I have to take that and divide it by 3 to get the correct answer. Just like I take 27 here, divide by 3 to get the correct answer. So when I then divide everything by 3, I get x minus 5, and that is the result of this. This is equal to x minus 5. So you can see, yes, we can use synthetic division with a little bit of a trick. Notice we want the x to be 1x, not 3x. I divide the denominator by 3. I then go ahead through the process of synthetic division. Now I'll end up with an answer that 3 times to be because I divided the denominator by 3. If I divide the denominator by 5, then I get an answer that's 5 times as big. And then I have to divide the answer by 5. In this case, it was 3 times too big, because I divided the denominator by 3. And so therefore, I take the answer, divide by 3, and I get the correct answer. And that's the answer associated with this division. Again, synthetic division works fantastically. You just have to be careful. You use the right rules. Here, we want an x in the front. I then, then take the negative of this number, which is the positive one third. Work through the process, divide the final answer by 3, and you get the correct answer, and that is how it's done. So it does work. It's a lot of things to remember. <laughs> That's true, it gets a little tricky, but hey, it works. Works like a charm.